review of Warhammer Age of Sigma Warcry Agents of Chaos. Uh, this is the new faction specific book uh, where Games Workshop are doing away with the Warband faction cards and uh, replacing it with a single book uh, that's now a grand alliance of all the Chaos cards in, under one book. There are four books in total um, Destruction, Death, uh, Order, and Chaos. So we're going to look at the Chaos one in this review. Uh, I'm just going to flick through the pages and talk about it as I come along stuff. I'll, I'll go uh, slow enough that uh, you should be able to pause it. Hopefully the video quality is good enough so you can make out any information you need. So we've got the contents there. And then we've got um, a little bit of info about the book. Uh, how to use the book. So here you can see all the factions that are included, including Skaven and the likes. Um, you know, we've also got the Signs of the Flame included. They're the new warband. And uh, this is how to use the heroes and allies. So anyone with a leader or ally mark now uh, can be taken by any of these factions. So you can't cross factions. You can't have um, like a, a bloodbound uh, champion in a order of uh, in an order warband like Stormcast or something like that. Obviously, that makes sense. But um, yeah, it's just all kept within the one book now, which is nice and tidy. Uh, here are the three allies which don't belong to any warband. You've got the foam, uh, Foamroid uh, Crusher, the Ogroid, and the Mind Stealer. Uh, this is the Monsters and Throws. They're no longer, just like the Allies, they're no longer in the Monsters and Mercenary book. They are now included in their own uh, factions. So here we have the um, uh, Monster Hunting abilities and the Monster abilities. And then you've got the specific Monster abilities. Uh, interesting thing to note, the Chimera... Uh, which was the rules were only ever available in the boxed model. The mo the, uh, it came with cards in the box. They never published it in the Monsters Mercenary book. It was never in Warcry Catacombs. It was never in the Tome of Champions. Um, so finally, they've included it. So people that have got a Chimera model but couldn't get the rules uh, previously can now use this one. So uh, the only new monster, I think, the Mute Lift might be new, I'm not sure, um, but the Hellpit Abomination has now been added. So, no, they haven't added a Manticore yet, which I'm surprised at, but uh, quite interesting to see the Hellpit Abomination get included. Uh, here you have the Chaos Throws, no changes there, that all seems to be the same. No new additions. Uh, here we have the Warbands of Chaos, so this now goes into all the individual Warbands. Uh, starting with Beasts of Chaos. What's nice is we get a bit of background, uh, which is something good, something you didn't get with the uh, card packs. Um, here you'll see. A uh, nice big change here is you're actually getting the names of the uh, the um, models, which I find hugely useful because, like, writing reviews and stuff like that, they weren't included on the cards. The cards were meant to be multilingual, so they could just print the cards and send them off to any continent and not have to worry about printing different languages. But that meant leaving the names off, which was um, not great. In my, I can see it from a business point of view, but I prefer having the names on. So that's a big plus for me. Um, you've got Shag Off. I can't remember if that was a monster you could field before, but that might be a new addition. Uh, you can have a 30 wound cockatrice. Some nice stuff in here. So that's those. Uh, here we have the Blades of Corn, so that's their information. So here you'll see these are the uh, leaders, which can also be allies. And they're your abilities. You get leader abilities and the Bloodbound Fighter abilities. These are the uh, fighters. Oh, these are still leaders, actually. These are all leaders. So the, lead, the huge amount of leaders for Bloodbound. And these are your fighters, including a Flesh Hound you can take. So if you've got the um, the Underworld's Warband with the, uh, with the uh, Flesh Hound in it, you can actually add that to your Warcry Warband. So that's cool. Um, Demons of Corn. There's their abilities. Don't look like they have leader abilities. They just have abilities. Disciples of Zinch, they have leader abilities and fighter abilities. There's some new models here. You've got 
a discus zinch now, which is quite cool. Can't remember if they were added before or not, but they are in the book. You've got demons of zinch. See, the demons of zinch have leader abilities. Um, the flux master and change caster are new additions to the book. Maggot king of Nurgle. Uh, Nurgle Rockbringers. You have a mounted Harbinger of Decay. Here we have the Befouled Bands. The uh, Demons of Nurgle, which is quite cool. Uh, I think these are new. Sloppity Bile Piper, Spoil Pox Scrivener, which is quite nice to add a bit of character to your warband. Right, I need to skip the Slanesh section because I've been asked by Games Workshop not to share it. That's top secret. So the demons aren't those, so that's fine. So there's demons of Slanesh. Makes me wonder now if the corn leader abilities are actually missing because the other four factions have it. Interesting. Uh, here we have Skaven. Lots and lots of uh, stuff for Skaven. Uh, so these are all leaders, as are these. Got Storm Fiends, nearly 300 points for a Storm Fiend. Absolutely mental. With 35 wounds. Ogres are 30 wounds as well. It's just absolute beasts. Warp Fire Thrower. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, if you collect Skaven, you've got lots of choice. Giant Rats as well. It's a nice, cheap 35-point unit. Now, my favourite, Slaves of Darkness. I think Slaves of Darkness did the best out of everyone in this new update. Because, check this out, Chaos Lord on Karkadrak. Yes, the Stark Collecting set now has, that has the Karkadrak in it. You can actually buy that Stark Collecting set and field it as a Slaves of Darkness warband. Because you've got Chaos Knights as well. So you've got the Chaos Lord on Karkadrak, Chaos Knights. They've changed the Aspiring Champion. The card Aspiring Champion was uh, two hand weapons. They've changed it now. He's got less um, damage, I think it was. Uh, but he's the same points. But yes, it's the model from the Stark Collecting set. You can have a Doom Knight leader if the Karkadrak's too many points. So you could feel that Varangard have been added as well now, 310 points. Absolutely awesome. The Chaos Warrior, they've updated the picture uh, to include the new one. So if you buy the Stark Collecting Chaos Warriors, it's a fantastic starting point to get into Warcry. Because you could go with a, a, a Foot Warband or you because the aspiring champion is a leader and you could do a chaos knight warband led by a karkadrak um there should be enough points all, all around there to uh give you two warbands if you wanted so yeah very happy with that now these are just the standard war cry warband so we'll just flip through those quickly corvus cabal i don't believe there's any changes to these do get some uh, background information which is good so um, the more information on these the better because it is kind of light you kind of in the starter sets you're going to get a paragraph or some pictures but actually getting some background information on these is fantastic now splinter fang signs of the flames they're the new guys Could throw fire bombs awesome very cool spire tyrants are in here and that's it. So then narrative play, you go on. So it gives you um, uh, names. You can roll tables to create names for your warband, uh, including origins and favoured backgrounds. So each of the uh, warbands get those. Quite useful. I, uh, I don't want to sit there thinking up names, so just doing that speeds it up a little bit. Uh, Chaos Fated Quests. Uh, so these are for all... Warbands, I think these aren't specific to anyone. So any warband in this that's got the Chaos Faction room mark can play these battles. Uh, you also notice the terrain here is from the 
Warcry Catacombs starter set, not the original starter set, so there's a lot less terrain in these pictures, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, that's the um, bell tower. I was looking at it thinking that was the statue platform, but it's not. Um, yeah, it's all above ground for the chaos here. And that's it. Spoils of victory. So fated quests, you get honor or glory. You get to choose at the end. And that's that. Challenge battles are included as well. So these tend to be about your big monsters or your specific rules. So here we can see catacombs. So chaotic beasts uh, are in here. Uh, so you basically fight chaotic beasts in that. Uh, Fury of the Wild. So this is your gargantuan. So you play this one if you want to add a gargan or a gorgon or whatever to your uh, force. If you win that, you can enslave it. Uh, Ever Chosen's Regards. This is basically, this is awesome. This is taking on, um, you can have a gargan added to yours if you've got it on your roster and you're taking on Stormcast Eternals from any of the three Stormcast factions. And the warbands are 1,500 points, so the nice big warbands. This is a, uh, a game where you play against the Knight Shadow Stalkers. Uh, here you have Legions and the Gash. Gloom Spike gets, so you get a little mission against the other ones, and then you've got your Warcry roster. And that's it. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed checking out this review. Um, I'm going to be posting the other ones, so make sure you check those out. And uh, thanks. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you later on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.